loving pranams at the lotus feet of our most beloved lord bhagwan sri satyasai baba varu with the blessings of swami we have once again assembled for this divine satsang on the theme vedas the very foundation of indian culture and spirituality it is a great blessing to be a part of this gama agama lecture series being organized by sri satya sai samyukta shruti shreni under sri satya sai seva organization india and more for this great opportunity to invite all the ardent devotees and all the vedic knowledge seekers for this 35th episode on rudra dhyaya we are indeed very very fortunate to once again have professor dr sannidhanam sudarshana sarmagaru with us to share his deep understanding from his highly dedicated penance on rudra dhyaya in this lecture the erudite scholar will continue to expound on the first anuvaka of rudram without any further delay i request sri professor dr sharma garu to take over jai sai ram Namaste to all of you. May Bhagwan Satya Sai Baba bless all of us. In the previous episode, I tried to give you a brief introduction of Rudra Jai. The entire Rudra Jai is intended to salute, to prostrate in front of Bhagwan Rudra, who is. the source of sorrow and delight now let us peep into this rudra adhyaya this contains 11 anuvakas anuvakas small chapters sub chapters out of these 11 the first chapter deals with appeasing or pleasing the deity rudra with a namaskar with a salutation that is the first anuvaka 
from second to ninth anuvaka the portion deals with the namaskara of rudra in various forms manifestations the tenth anuvaka drape andhasas deals with the concept of rudra the efficacies of rudra and the last and 11th one deals with the groups of rudras rudra gana the first one saluting rudra and appeasing second to ninth saluting the rudra in various innumerable forms like trees mountains even the serpents what not everything in the creation so everything is rudra and the tenth one is a prayer to rudra's efficacies is innumerable capacities and the last one sahasra and sahasra anuvaka deals with the groups of rudras rudra forms into a group and resides in a particular place or a particular form rudra groups are invoked at the last ajaya sahasra sahasra and on the whole rudra is worshiped prayed and prostrated the namaskar we often listen sastanga namaskara what is the meaning of sastanga namaskara sa ashta anga namaskar the namaskar involving the eight parts of the body is called sastanga namaskar in mahanyasa we come across a verse urasa shirasa drushtya manasa vachasa tatha padbhyam karabhyam karnabhyam pranamoshtanga uchyate first urasa the chest shirasa with the head drushtya with the eyes manasa with your mind vachasa with your voice okay these are five urasa shirasa drushtya manasa vachasa tatha and then padbhyam two feet karabhyam two hands karnabhyam the two ears thus the parts become eight if you dedicate all these eight parts of your body while saluting to rudra then it becomes sashtanga namaskara the entire rudra dhyaya teaches us to salute rudra to prostrate before rudra 
when we meet a friend we say namaste the famous rudra jaya starts with namaste the popular word which we use namaste is a vedic word namaha te shri gurbho namaha hari o namaste rudra manyava uto ta ishave namaha namaste astu dhanvane bahubhya mutate namaha this is the first mantra hey rudra the dt rudra is addressed hey rudra o oh rudra te namaha namaha namaskar te to you namaste hey rudra rudra i salute you my namaskar to you manyave e utohota uto again not only to you but also to your manyu manyu means anger manyave e also a namaskar to your anger uto and again thereafter my namaskar also to your arrow ishave issue means the arrow hey rudra my namaskar to you namaste rudra manyave my namaskar to your anger ishave my namaskar to your arrow <clears throat> namaste rudra manyave uto ta ishave namaha namaste astu dhanvane bahubhya mutate namaha namaste astu also i salute to your bow to your arch and both of you were hands that carry the bow and the arrow there are several hands rudra is equipped by several hands but now let us first make a namaskaram to only those two hands with which he holds the arrow and the bow namaste astu dhanvane dhanvane the dhanush the bow the arch salute it bahubhya mutate namaha bahubhya me ji dvivacham dvivacham plural two hands namaste rudra manyava uto ta ishave namaha namaste astu dhanvane bahubhya mutate namaha this is the first mantra surprisingly this mantra is a ruk you can also call it first ruk or first mantra in this mantra first rudra and then his anger then the arrow then the bow and then the hands all these are saluted there is a logical order in this one rudra a person 
who is angry a person who wants to punish the evil person he is rudra first the person when the person then the person becomes angry in the first place there is the person in the second place he gets anger he got annoyed that annoyance comes in the second place as a result he draws the arrow to hit the target for that purpose he needs a bow then the bow comes in the next place and there must be hands to hold the arrow and the bow then the hands come in the next place that is the order in which it is described namaste rudra manyava uto taisha veramaha uto ta means again namaste astu dhanvane bahubhya mutate namaha friends the entire rudra chakra is an invocation to rudra the whole of rudra chakra has a devata that is rudra who is invoked is worshiped is a peace is pleased in order to mitigate some good fruits but the sages say that each mantra each rook of it has got separate significance separate entity a person who cannot chant the entire portion of rudra jaya may choose a particular rug or mantra and chant it or meditate or perform tapasya with that particular mantra and this is the first mantra नमस्ते रुद्रमन्यव उतोतय शवे नमः नमस्ते अस्तु धन्वने बाहुध्या मुतते नमः स्टम दिस इज वन मंत्र दिस मंत्र इज इंडिपेंडेंट दिस हैज गॉट इट्स ओन ऋषि इट्स ओन छंदस इट्स ओन देवता इट्स ओन ध्यान श्लोक इट्स ओन रिजल्ट्स for this mantra atreya is the rishi atreya is the rishi who has discovered this mantra and this chandas is anushtup devata is rudra a person after performing some purificatory rites like uh, fasting bathing so many are there and the veda says that there is a ritual which is called prajapatya krichra and you have to perform that after performing that you become pious you become pure and you will become eligible for the sadhana of this month then he should meditate he should chant the mantra for 11000 times 11000 times namaste rudra manyava utavata isha veramaha namaste astu dhanmane bahubhya mutate namaha repeat it for 11000 times then you perform a puja of shodashopachara 
ഇൻ ഫേവർ ഓഫ് രുദ്ര റിപ്പുട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഐഡിയൽ ഓഫർ ഫ്ലവേഴ്സ് നാൽ ദി ഉപചാരസ് ധൂപ ദീപ നൈവേജ എറ്റ്സെട്ര ദൻ വൈൽ മെഡിറ്റേറ്റിംഗ് അപ്പോൾ ദർ ഈസ് എ ശ്ലോക വിച്ച് ഷുഡ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർലി ബി റിസൈറ്റഡ് ദാറ്റ് ശ്ലോക ഇസ് ദിസ് ആകർണ കൃഷ്ടേ ധനുഷി ജ്വലന്തീം ദേവീമിഷും ഭാസ്വതി സന്ദധാന ധ്യായേന്മഹേശം മഹനീയവേഷം ദേവ്യായുതം യോധതനം യുവാനം ദിസ് ഇൻവോക്കേറ്റീവ് വേർസ് റിവീൽസ് സെവറൽ സാലിയൻറ്റ് ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ഡി ടി രുദ്ര who pervades this mantra who prevails over this mantra akarna krishte dhanushi jwalanti he has drawn the uh, thread of the arrow as the thread of the bow and at the top of the arch there is an arrow which is uh, uh, which is full of flames and then mahaniya vesha he is decorated he is adorned like a warrior but of course by his side there is parvati and he is in his youth and he is ready to shoot the arrow at the at the target such rudra should be meditated upon while performing the puja this is the dhyana shloka if you do this the sub result of chanting this mantra for 11000 times is parameshwara one is parameshwara prasada you will win the grace of parameshwara dirutra papakshaya if you feel that you have performed some papa and from which you want a relief you will get the relief from that papa and then ganapatyam ganapatyam means ganapate bhavo ganapatyam ganaanam pati hi ganapati hi as we already discussed this you will become a leader of a group or a team it may be a small team of 5 it may be a constituency of uh, uh, thousands or lakhs of voters that is also a group these are the results of meditating this mantra for 11000 times and performing a puja uttering the jhana shloka this is the first mantra of the first anuvaka of rudra adhyaya the entire rudra adhyaya is to please rudra and to get punya and to get happiness through it there are so many mantras in the rudra adhyaya as it was already discussed the first two lines are the first mantra of rudra adhyaya it has got a special purpose it is useful for upasana of various kinds of rudras now let us go to the second mantra of rudra chai yata ishu shivatama shivam bhuvate dhanu shiva sharavya yata vatayano rudra murdaya these two lines form the second mantra of rudra chai the purport of the 
mantra is as follows he rudra yata ishu shivatama your arrow was calm and quiet it was peaceful shivam babhuvate dhanu also your bow it was calm and quiet it was peaceful shiva sharavya yata vataya no rudramataya shiva sharavya sharavya means the quiver quiver means the case of the arrows where the arrows are stored before shooting and that was also your quiver also was calm and quiet and peaceful so with these things with these three things remaining peaceful you allow us to be happy o rudra which means he rudra we request you not to use your arrow your bow or the quiver at any point of time against us this is the prayer made through the mantra to the dt rudra this particular mantra has got a separate existence significance and practice of upasana for this mantra atreya is the rishi anushtup is the chandas devata is shambhu for 12 days without break one should remain uttering this mantra throughout the day except at the midnight and during the time of nitya karma one should go on repeating this mantra chanting this mantra for 12 days then this mantra gets initiated you will become eligible to use this mantra for the particular purpose for which it is intended to the result of the the purpose of the mantra is very vast magnificent you can avoid drought you can counter the drought you can counter the evil forces that are prevalent in your country the evil forces may be visible or even invisible you will get rid of the evil force by the utterance of this mantra after getting eligibility by continuous chant of this mantra for 12 days while chanting this mantra and worshiping the rudra you should meditate upon a particular form of rudra which is revealed in the dhyana shloka jhaye devam sasmitam syandanastham devyasartham tejasadipyamanam ಶ್ವಾಸಾಲಂಕೃತಾಭ್ಯಾಂಭುಜಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಶೂರಾಕಾರ ಸ್ತೂಯಮಾನ ಸುರೋಘೈ ಧ್ಯಾತ್ ಸಸ್ಮಿತ ಸ್ಯಂದನಸ್ಥ 
while uttering this mantra, you should meditate upon this kind of Rudra, who is standing in a chariot, Syandanastham, Sasmitam. Sasmitam means he is smiling, he is in his pleasant mood and he is smiling while standing in the chariot. He is also supported by Devi Parvati. She is also by his side. Devyasartham Tejasadipyamanam And he is so blissful. Like the sun. Ishvishwasalankritapyam Bhujapyam By his two hands he carries the arrow and the bow. Both are carried by his hands. Shurakaram He is in the attire of a warrior. He is in the attire of a warrior. And he is also followed by the groups of deities who are praising him. Jayet Devam Sasmitam Syandanastham Devyasartham Tejasadi Pyamanam Ishvishvasa Lankrata Pyam Bhujapyam Surakaram Stuyamanam Surauhai You should utter this man this shloka once at least then while uttering the mantra you should meditate upon this type of rudra this is the second mantra of rudra jaya now we will turn to the next one the third mantra of rudra jaya Yate Rudra Shiva Tanura Ghora Papakashini Tayanas Tanuva Shantamaya Girishanta Bichakashi Rudra has got two bodies. One is called Ghora. The other one is, the second one is Shiva. Ghora is that body which is visible at the time of Pralaya when he withdraws the entire creation. When he digests the entire creation into himself or when the entire universe gets dissolved in Rudra. At that point of time, the body possessed by Rudra is called Ghora, it is frightful. So, that is one body of Rudra, Ghora. The other one is Shiva. Here you can see Rudra in a pleasant mood, smiling and giving boons to the devotees. This is called Shiva Tanu, Ghora Tanu, Ghora body and Shiva Tanu, Shiva body. Tanu means body. Veda itself says, Tasyaite Tanu Ghora Anya Shiva Anya Tasyaite Tanu Rudra has got two bodies, Ghora body and Shiva body. Ghora, when he becomes enraged, got annoyed, and when he is angry, then that body is Ghora. When he is happy, 
when he is in a delightful mood then it is called the body is called shiva in this particular mantra the second one the shiva body of shiva is prayed yade rudra shiva tanura ghora papakashini he rudra your that body which is the shiva and aghora which is not ghora which is not frightened or which is pleasant apapakashini apapakashini means one he which is that body which is the creation of punya which was created by punya so your second body which is called shiva is aghora it is not fearful it is the outcome of merits or punyas apapakash there is no touch of papa even ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಯುವರ್ ದಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ your shanta body may make us known to the world this is the prayer hidden in the mantra yate rudra shiva tanu raghu rapa pakashini taya nas tanu ashanta maya girishanta bhichakashi shanta maya your that body is the source of all punyas or dharmic deeds hey rudra you please be available to us in that form of your body which is called shiva in this mantra rudra is addressed girishanta girishanta means one who always keeps up his words who shall never fail from the oath taken by him and what is the oath he has taken a oath an oath to save his devotees to keep them happy to keep them peaceful and hey girishanta you will never fail in your oath so i am your devotee please take care of me with your shiva body please protect us that is the inner meaning of this mantra this mantra has got a separate existence in the rudra chaya of course all the mantras are part of rudra chaya but every mantra has got its own individuality every mantra is independent and for this mantra swarat is the rishi trivrudanushtu is the chandas and shambhu is the death has ordered this mantra should be repeated for 3 days avoiding the time of nitya karma 
for three days one should go on repeating this mantra and while repeating he should meditate upon a particular kind of rudra particular form of rudra which is revealed in the dhyana shloka smerananam chandrakalavatam sam gangadharam shaila sutasahayam trilochanam bhasma bhujanga bhushanam jhayet pashunam patibishitaram smerananam he has a face which is decorated by the smile smerananam chandra kalavatam sam the half moon adorns the head of shiva gangadharam the river ganga flows from his head shaila suta sahayam goddess parvati is by his side trilochanam he possesses three eyes bhasma bhujanga bhushan he is decorated by vibhuti or bhasma the ashes and various kinds of snakes bhujanga bhushan jhayet pashunam patim ishita you should meditate upon such pashupati pashu means that which is seen is called pashu normally we think pashu refers to the animal the actual meaning of pashu is all the creatures all the inanimate things which ever is visible is called pashu pashyate iti pashu that which is seen is called pashu which means the entire creation he is the dictator of the entire creation pashunam patim ishitar ishita means the dictator he is the dictator of the entire pashus not just the four legged animals are called pashus even humans can be called pashus by performing this right for 3 days the result is you will get authority over the mantra what is the purpose of this mantra go shanti go shanti here the word go is not just a cow it is anything that can move is called go gachati ti kauhu shanti peace to all the moving creatures shanti to all the moving creatures is the purpose or result of this mantra so the cows this person let us for the time being let us take uh, uh, cow as the meaning of go there won't be any diseases to them they will eat high volume of uh, milk and other products they will not hurt the human beings or other creatures they will live happily and peaceful so that the others also will be happy and peaceful not only the cows but also the buffaloes horses the wild animals the pet animals they will become harmful 
all such type of unwanted things are avoided by prayoga of this mantra by using this mantra yate rudra shiva tanura ghora papakashini tayanastanu vasantamaya girisanta abhijakashihi we have been discussing that rudra has got two bodies shiva and ghora shiva is a pleasant form of rudra ghora is a frightening form of rudra the same rudra when we see our actions are of two kinds dharma and adharma when we perform dharma then the body of rudra remains shiva when we perform adharma bad things forbidden things then the rudra's body turns to be ghora so these two are the different shades of one rudra there are no two rudras the same body of rudra turns to be shiva when you are stick to the dharma the same rudra becomes ghora when you perform bad things see the rudra has got crores and crores of bodies every body is that of rudra only sahasrani sahasrasho ye rudra adibhumya am only on this earth there are innumerable crores of rudras but at the same time the veda itself says ek eva rudro na dvitiya yatasthe o sars rudra is one alone there are no two rudras so we should understand that ek eva rudro na dvitiya yatasthe as one rudra becomes manifested into innumerable forms so in everybody there is rudra if we perform dharma the bodies around you the creatures the uh, inanimate and animate things they become the shiva body of rudra when you perform adharma all the bodies around you of rudra they become ghoras so we should be very careful in our deeds that is the message given by this mantra thank you i convey my humble gratefulness to satyasai seva organization the office bearers of it the volunteers of the organization especially the audience who want to gain knowledge and who with their devoted minds attend to these programs i salute all of you thank you om shri sai ram pranams at the lotus feet 
ऑफ अवर डियर लॉर्ड भगवान श्री सत्य बाबा बारू इट इज इंडीड ए ग्रेट ऑनर टू एक्सप्रेस अवर हॉट फेल ग्रेटिट्यूड टू प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर सुदर्शन शर्मा गारू फॉर सच ए वंडरफुल एक्सपोजिशन ऑन द इन सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द मंत्रास इन द फर्स्ट अनुवाका विथ द काइंड कंसेंट ऑफ प्रोफेसर शर्मा गारू I would like to briefly recall the salient points from this episode 35 under Gama Agama lecture series of Sri Satya Sai Samyukta Suti Shreni under Sri Satya Sai Seva Organisation India. Sir, you were very kind to start on a. recapturing note on the inner significance of the first anuvaka to put us in sync with your deep understanding of rudra dhyaya you mentioned that the first anuvaka is focused on the mantras for appeasing lord shiva second to ninth anuvakas offer namaskaras to different forms of rudra the tenth anuvaka elaborates on the efficacies of rudra the eleventh anuvaka is related to rudra ganas you once again quickly elaborated on the inner meaning of astanga namaskara that is offering or saluting the lord with the eight organs chest head eyes mind voice feet hands and ears you reiterated the point that every mantra in rudram has its own special existence and significance in the sense that each of these mantras has its own rishi its own chandas its own deity its phala a result and there is a vidana of our upasana of this mantra and there is a dhyana shloka attached to this mantra for the very first mantra om namaste rudra manyava bhutod ishave namaha namaste astu dhanvane bahubhya mutate namaha you elaborately provided the purport and later mentioned that the rishi for the mantra is sage atreya the chandas is anustup dt is rudra vidana or prajapatya is to chant this mantra 11000 times and the result of such an endeavor is papakshaya parameshwara prasada punya prapti and the dhyana shloka for this you mention as akarna krishte am so on after having elaborately explained the first mantra of the first anuvaka you took us to the second mantra of the first anuvaka that is यातयिशु शिवतमा शिवं भगवते दनु शिवा शरव्याया तवतया नो रुद्रमृडय इन अ सेंस 
the mantra depicts the shanta swarupam in totality of rudra in warrior attire for this mantra the rishi is sage atreya the chandas is anushtup and the deity is shambhu the vidana a prajapatya is 12 day upasana of the mantra without any break barring the midnight time and during nitya karmas the phala or result of such a devotional endeavor is that one will be free from doubt one will be able to counter both internal and external evil forces the dhyana shloka for this mantra is dhyaye devam sasmitam chandanastam and so on which advocates one to focus on the blissful form of rudra bright like sun with mother parvati on the chariot in warrior attire with groups of deities praising and praying to him next you took us to the third mantra of the first anuvaka ya te rudra shiva tanu raghora papakashini ప్లజెంట్ and benevolent form of rudra the pleasant form of rudra which is is which is the manifestation of punya and which is known to keep the promise to save the devotees may protect one and all this is the purport in brief which you have elaborated to us for this mantra the rishi is swarat chandas is tribhu dhanushtup tribhu dhanushtup dt is shambhu and vidana a prajapatya is to repeat the mantra for three full days non stop but for nitya karma duration and the result of the phala is go shanti hi peace for all moving creatures no disease happiness to one and all the creatures the dhyana shloka which you mentioned for this mantra is smeranana smerananam chandra kalavatam sa kalavatam sam and so on here you have mentioned that one should meditate on the blissful form of shambhu adoring half moon on head with the flow of ganga bhavani from the head with mother parvati next to him and having three eyes and with nagendra hara who is protecting the entire creation having explained very elaborately the inner significance you eloquently ended on the note from the vedas that do rudra has innumerable forms he is only one you also reminded us that when we chant rudram and do punya karmas all forms both animate and inanimate 
around us will become shivam benevolent and favorable to us on the contrary if we perform adharma all bodies around us become unfavorable or gora so we should always keep a watch on our words actions thoughts character and heart sir i once again thank you on behalf of all the participants on behalf of sri satyasai samyukta shruti shreni for generously sparing your dedicated learnings on vedic knowledge in such a simple manner we pray to our dear lord sai to immensely bless you and your family so that you may energetically carry forward the sacred vedic message jai sai ram Om Jai Jagadish Hari Swami Sakhi Sai Hari Bhakt Jana Samrakshak Bhakt Jana Samrakshak Bhati Maheshwara Om Jai Jagadish Hari Shashi Vadana Shri Kara Sarva
बोलो भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा जी की